Very beautiful start to the final weekend of summer is uh, upon us, and we do see that we've stayed rather dry for today, relatively quiet on that radar. We actually do have to jump all the way up to our north and west, really off the coast, beginning to push onto the coast. This is going to be our next rainmaker, as well as bringing in much cooler temperatures. We're actually on the magnitude 5 to 10 degrees above average for the next few days or so. Really going to need to wait till the middle of that work week once we have this trough really redefining itself on the western United States. By the middle of that work week Wednesday, we'll begin to see this slide towards our neck of the woods, bringing us much cooler conditions. Until then, though, we have a warm few days ahead of us right now, enjoying a mild 79 degrees. We are anticipating to break that 80 degree mark for today over the next hour or so. We have stayed dry for today, and we're going to anticipate dry conditions for the next few days or so. Going to need to wait once again till the middle of the work week for that. So around the region right now, 88 degrees over in Pueblo. Even some of those higher elevation areas, still 60s, 76, Manitou Springs, majority of El Paso County in those upper 70s and low 80s out there right now and plenty of sunshine to accommodate that. If you do have any plans out there for tonight, it does uh, get very comfortable out there. Low 70s, upper 60s throughout the overnight hours and we're going to stay dry. Very few clouds, mostly clear overnight tonight. So make it for a very uh, beautiful evening if you do plan to take advantage of the nightlife out there. Now, as we do head into tomorrow, that heat builds even more. 86 degrees, that forecast at high Colorado Springs. Take a look at these icons though. Plenty of sunshine is expected across the board. Down towards Pueblo County, 93 that forecasted high, 89 out in Canyon City, and even out towards the plains, no triple digits quite in that forecast, but mid upper 90s can't be taken off the table for tomorrow. And really, the next three days or so, we look like we're going to stay dry, and we are anticipating plenty of sunshine. But take a look at these temperatures up to 89 degrees by Tuesday. Remember, that average is 77 in Colorado Springs for this time of the the year. So by that point, we're about 12 degrees above that average. Then as we do get into your Wednesday, that's when those rain chances begin to return to the forecast. Taking a look at your seven day forecast. Now Woodland Park, very mild temperatures till that front moves through Tuesday night into Wednesday with that temperatures make a drop 63 degrees by the middle of that work week. And now Canyon City 90s for the next few days or so upper 80s for tomorrow. And then we get down to the mid and low 70s to end that work week Wednesday and Thursday before we see some heat start to return at least seasonable temperatures in time for the weekend next weekend. Now Pueblo going to be 90s almost across the board till we get to that middle of the work week. That pattern change brings in cooler temperatures, increased rain chances before we dry out just in time for the start of that weekend in downtown Colorado Springs going to be well above average for the next few days. Then once again, we drop below average Wednesday and Thursday, and then we get back right towards that seasonable feel Friday into Saturday. So very limited rain chances across the board. We will take whatever we can get Wednesday and Thursday to hopefully help mitigate this fall fire weather risk.